What's poppin' gamers, it's Gavin here. Today we're gonna be talking about how you can get better at Osu. Now, by no means am I a great player, I'm pretty average, but I just wanna go into some of the ways that I've improved myself, some of my friends, and some ways that I know have worked for some top players. By no means is everything in this video going to work for you, but I really suggest trying out some of these things. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so probably the first thing that I can recommend you and the biggest thing that has happened for me is to play a lot of maps that destroy your fingers. Now, you may think that this is just going to damage your fingers, but unless you are apt to carpal tunnel syndrome or you're worried about that, um, you know, you shouldn't be playing OC. Regardless, uh, if you really want to improve your streaming ability and your stamina, if you want to be able to stream, you need to have stamina. It may seem kind of weird that it would be that much of an issue, like if you just want to like hit five notes in a row. Having good stamina is going to get you better at that. You need stamina to be able to stream even the smallest things. Even if you think your stamina is fine now, trust me, it is not if you're not playing this kind of map. So, maps like Burns Moment into the Retina of My Eye, uh, maps like Chipscape, maps like that. Those maps are really, really good for uh, exercising your fingers. Like, when you exercise a muscle, what happens is your muscle gets torn, and what will happen is it will take proteins and it will grow in between your muscles, so what you need to do is that burning sensation is your muscles tearing, which is good, like, because you're building your muscles, so, um, as long as you're playing those kinds of really, really, uh, finger-heavy maps, you're gonna improve your stamina, and, uh, that, that's really all it is to it. You just gotta play maps that will really, really challenge your fingers and not hurt. If they're hurting, stop playing for the day that will burn your fingers. It should be a very distinct burning sensation. That is good, that is you building stamina. You know, I used to think I had good stamina. I could never stream. I, I literally could not for the life of me. But I started playing a lot of maps that would burn your finger, and I noticed, like, within two months of playing these kind of maps, significant improvement. I went from not being able to stream any BPM, like, no matter the BPM, I could not stream it without getting, like, 20% accuracy to being able to pass through the Fire and the Flame myth, to being able to get insane scores on, for me, like on DT maps with higher BPM uh, short streams. You know, I've gotten so much better. I've gotten actually able to pass some death streams, you know? So really, this is huge, and this is my number one tip. Another thing I can recommend you to get better at this game is to sleep well. Sleeping well is absolutely huge now you've probably heard like um that people will recommend you to get like uh somewhere around eight to ten hours of sleep this is honestly such a huge thing what will happen is with your sleep schedule after around six hours of sleep your memories from that day will start to form into long-term memories and your skills from that day will turn into long-term skills and then after about two hours so you get to like eight hours and you're pretty much at a proficient level where Things from that day have become uh, long-term memories. So what happens is, if you're just playing the game, and then you go to sleep that night, and you don't sleep well, you're really not going to retain any of that improvement from that day onto the following days as well. I mean, you probably will, definitely, but it will not be nearly as well if you're getting good sleep. And on top of that, um, if you're sleep-deprived, you won't be able to move your eyes to anything if you move your eyes to the notes. Or you won't have fast enough reaction speeds to do anything. Sleep is ginormous if you want to be able to be good at this game and improve fast. Another big thing you should be doing if you want to get better at this game is to be eating right. Now you, you're probably, you know, thinking that doesn't matter, you're just eating. But it really is very, very crucial. So, especially for stamina building. So if you want to stamina build, you need proteins in your body to build up that muscle in your fingers. You need your brain to be at its max capacity because with this game Osu, you're working at your 100% ability 100% of the time. Nobody just like intentionally does bad. You're working non-stop. You're working to the best you can. So if your brain isn't nourished and if you don't have proteins to be able to improve your stamina, then what's the point of playing? Another big thing that can be holding you back is playing things like stars, squares, triangles, other geometric shapes, as if they're one big just flow movement. Flow aim is okay, but it's not really that great ever. You want to be playing moving from each note individually regardless of the geometric shape. If it's a square, 
try your absolute best just to snap from note, 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 note. Don't think of it as a circle, all right? Because what you'll do is most people will just default to moving their, cir their cursor in a circle now. Yeah, unless you willingly and intentionally try to fix this problem, you probably still go in circles around these kind of things. That's a bad habit. It really is going to be messing you up. Another huge thing for me personally is to always have a goal in mind. You know, I'd have a goal of F seeing a certain map or uh, usually not F seeing, but passing a certain map, reaching a certain rank, things like that. Always have a goal in mind so that you can strive to reach something and you will always be motivated even if subconsciously. That is very, very vital if you want to be able to improve fast. Having the right mindset and having a goal is really important. On top of all that, don't think to yourself that you're a good player, alright? In basically most circumstances, you're probably not a good player unless you're like, Clug or whatever. Don't think to yourself that you are a good player in most circumstances, because what's going to end up happening, you're going to think, alright, I'm, I'm a good player, I don't need to work anymore. You know, you may not be consciously thinking that, but your subconscious will not be training as hard and trying to work on your own muscle memory in order to get better at that. You have to keep your brain working at its top game because it's not like you're intentionally saying, hey brain, make me better at OCD because that won't work. You need to be training and training and training, and if your brain thinks, oh I'm already good, I don't really need to put that much effort into it, then you're not going to improve as fast. And that is the goal, because there's never really a way you can just snap your fingers, get good at this game. It's, it's about playing more and playing the right way in order to improve faster. With all that being said, there's no one way to snap your fingers and be good at this game. That's really not possible. However, there is ways to improve faster. When people say, you know, you ask a top player, they say, uh, just play more to get better. That is only half the truth. You have to play more and play correctly. You need to be playing maps that are challenging to you in whatever you want to improve on. And you need to follow us in this video. Follow what some top players have said. You know, if someone's given advice to you, there's a pretty high chance that it's because it worked for them. So, with that being said, try out some of these things. See how it works for you. And let me know how it works. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If there's anything you want to see from me in the future, video ideas, etc., please let me know. Also, I have a Discord now. Please join. Link in the description and it'll be in a pinned comment. Hope you guys had a good one. Peace out.